Hello, everybody, and welcome to this episode of The Faux Show. Today is Wednesday, July 25th. My name is Angela. And my name is Chris. And as most of you know, The Faux Show is not a real show. It is a social experience because I don't look at you. I look at the chat. <laughs> chat room which i have here on my ipad oh good wait supported by an msi win running linux yeah it's true <laughs> holding it up i have it full screen on my screen and then it's over there on a monitor where we can see ourselves i have it again on this monitor and it is contained within the best lower third on the internet the jblive.tv chat room right down there which also hides my beverage and i'd like to mention has been this in this lower third for 100 episodes actually wow. it's been longer than that but it's only a hundred episodes that have actually been recorded and published that's true for it used to be just a post jupiter at night live only show event yeah it was an event it wasn't a show well it still isn't and a then, show and then we just got uh then we just got a lot of people asking mm-hmm. can for we more. watch it can we watch it yep. we, oh i didn't get to see live so yeah. yep a lot of uh our ukers don't stay up uh can't stay up late so yeah we started recording it yeah. but so today we are doing uh, one of the most commonly requested topics, and that is behind the scenes. Now, hmm. behind the scenes has been covered a couple times, but this is going to be your Wait. one area, one your main source. My show notes will give you everything you need to know about our studio. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> like yeah. links and descriptions, and then um, the show itself, even though if you're listening audio, there uh, there are several pictures of the before and afters of our studio uh, setup and uh, just yeah. all sorts of fun stuff. And uh, we'll probably have a few updates from the stuff that's in those videos, I would imagine, yeah. and yep. pictures and stuff. So plus we have, uh, we're gonna show some photos and uh, some clips of stuff that's never been released. And because it's 100, we have to do something really fantastic. Uh, I am making an announcement at the end of the show or at some point in it. And hmm. and then there will be a a little surprise at the very end. Oh. Which means you gotta stay tuned. if you're watching on YouTube, don't skip to the end. <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on. That's no fair. <laughs> or, um, or if you're watching live and you just can't make it, make it. Yeah. <laughs> like, all right. Now, stay up a little longer. Before we get to all this epicness... Uh, we have to cover something that's actually become critically important to us, and mm-hmm. it's it's kind of uh, almost fitting oh. that we're talking about it uh, on our 100th episode. I'm not pregnant. Uh, that that just went through the lower third. If you saw that, no. I'm drinking wine for crying out loud. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that'd be really yeah. Uh, no, um, actually, this is pretty serious. Uh, our mm-hmm. our one of our main sources of revenue is our affiliate usage. Thank you, everyone out there who does that because you're sponsoring us directly from our audience, which is incredible. Without costing you anything. However, one of the great ways we've done this is through browser extensions. Mm-hmm. And the issue is, is Chrome updates silently in the background. And one of Chrome's new updates is disabling extensions that are not installed from the Chrome Web App Store, which means the Jupyter Broadcasting app which is hosted is on our website, yeah. not the Chrome App Store right now. So what we'll be doing is getting it submitted as we get all that figured out. But yep. in the meantime, go in, in the meantime, go into your extensions in Chrome, go into your settings, go into extensions, and see it in the list and check the enabled box if it's disabled. Mm-hmm. Um, same with Firefox. Firefox just had a version 13 and then shortly after that a version 14 update. Yep. And you want to check for that too. The reason why we bring this up is because we've seen a massive... Ma- basically almost all of our affiliate revenue has dropped not not like well i guess that's actually not true we have a lot true. of chrome users. the latest numbers actually are a little more positive but it's mm-hmm. it's it's probably about half mm-hmm. it's about it's been cut in half i thought i thought yeah. earlier in the week it was actually more than that right. but it's about half of what it was recently the last couple um months. and that just is not going to work because right now uh, we personally finance Jupiter Broadcasting at about the cost personally of about a thousand dollars per month. Mm-hmm. This last month we had to put two thousand dollars in personally, mm-hmm. and I can tell you, we cannot continue to do that. Mm-mm. So while I don't know what exactly the end result would be, we would definitely have to make some major changes if we can't get that turned around. So I very much, very much would appreciate it if you go into your extension settings mm-hmm. and make sure that plugin's enabled. Or if you're going to do some shopping, consider going down to Jupiter Broadcasting, the very bottom of the website, and using one of our affiliate links down there. And including, we've a couple more. You can't see them right now because they're cut <laughs> off on the thing. Well, you know, I could drag the thing up, I suppose. But including, uh, dun 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 dun, Netflix. We've now pretty much we everybody finally, has Netflix, we right? We were approved. Pretty much everybody has Netflix, but if you know somebody that doesn't have Netflix or you don't have it yet for some reason uh, and you're in the U.S., check that one out. That's a great one. Also, a lot of, a lot of people are loving the new Code School one. Uh, yeah. That's a great way to go learn how to develop online. The other thing is I know people reinstall their browsers 
frequently. So if you do that, just try to remember that that we were one of your extensions. Yes, please do. Uh, so yeah, and if you want to check out Netflix, mm-hmm. you can do that's a new affiliate. Also, I, have we mentioned on the show that we added, uh, which if you know if you're not a big affiliate person, uh, we've added Amazon sub- uh, subscription support. Oh so yeah. I don't know if we mentioned that on the show, but we had a lot of people ask for uh, Amazon over PayPal. So now we have a $7 yep. a month option. And over on our jupiterbroadcasting.com slash donate page, we have a $10 a month option. So please help us out because we want to keep doing this. Yes, we do. And now what is it that we do? Let's find some pictures. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> yeah, now we're actually going to kind of go through what yeah. we do. It's very fitting. It's it's oh, pretty oops. wild. It's it's Boy, we're a little nervous about it, to be honest with you. Nah. Guys. Okay, so I am, this okay. is not in date order. It's just kind of random things that, that we grab from our uh, library, photo libraries. This is probably pretty early on, though. Yeah. So um, here's Chris. Is this PAX? Uh, that is. That's uh, the, one of my first PAX. I think the right. one I got the one, for. Yeah, that. yeah. So last episode, we did Fisher History Part 2, and I showed the picture of Chris on the couch with his hair sticking up like four inches and all messed up because, yeah. believe it or not... Yes, it it does get messed up. It, it does happen. Well, I had a fever of like 104. Yeah, so... And it was a little long. Yeah. But um, anyway, so that was that. Oh, we got to pose with Pedo Bear. That was cool. Uh, yeah, and then here's uh, J-Man. Of course, everybody loves Jeremy. Now we have lots of pictures of this girl because she was stationed right next to the Star Trek Online booth, and this was the first uh, public gameplay of Star Trek Online. Oh wow, yeah. yeah. And and again in last uh the last episode, episode ninety nine of Fisher History Two, I showed the picture of Chris receiving his two copies of Star Trek Online and putting it in his pants. Um now just uh, apology to you guys on the audio stream or listening to this on download. This is very picture heavy. Uh well, but I'll try to I'll try to super, well, I'll try okay. to yeah. I'll it, these last couple episodes have been. We're aware of it. I'll try to create a visual of the mind though as we go. <laughs> okay. Um okay. So this is the, uh, well, this is no longer here. No. But That's an old setup. It's an old setup. I don't know if you guys recall, but I am a Mac. I prefer to have a Mac over here. So that's why there's a Mac over here. Yeah, but you see it's running Linux. Well, it did run <laughs> Mint, what, 10? Right? Uh, yeah, probably. Mint 10 for yeah. a while, and yeah. it bugged the crap out of me. If you watched the faux show pre-show or post-show, you would know that I complain about it almost every single time. And in fact, yeah, it's it's just started the post show in a sour mood because of how frustrating it was. Uh, now, though, you could tell, see, this was, uh, that, that is not a beer, but there's a beer bottle opener uh, right there. That's a Henry Weinhardt's. <laughs> yes, right. Yeah, that's a Henry right. Weinhardt's. But, yep, uh, drinking on the job. <laughs> no. Yes, yeah, so this that is where I sit. So if you're, uh, if you, so if you look where Angela's sitting right now, that's, that's basically that spot from a different angle. Yep. And you'll get to see more about some of the soundproofing later. All right. So here's some of the hardware. Actually, I only have a, uh, well, that was a hardware pick, but this is another one. And I showed this last week, but (laughs) the Galaxy Tab that you, uh, how would you say it? Um, You got a deal on that. Yeah. Yeah. What was the, where were you when you got that? I was at the mall. It was a holiday shopping thing. and Oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah, they gave it to me. No, this is when it was brand, brand, no, brand No, no, they didn't buy it. They didn't no, they gave it to me for $200. Right, say. half yeah. the price or something. Yeah. Well, it was, yeah, it was, back then it was brand new. Yeah. I know. I love that face too. I had to show it again. My laptop. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, uh, we photographed the unboxing of things. This laptop, uh, what function does it provide right now? It actually died. What? Yeah. It's dead. What? Yeah, it, it overheated and it's dead. When? A while ago. Oh, oh, I thought this was your current one. <laughs> okay. No. All right, well, that sucks. Okay, well, I didn't know that. I guess, so the thing is, he doesn't look at the pictures before I... <laughs> no. <laughs> but, okay. Well, um, this is a behind-the-scenes in-depth look. So this is what the studio looks like from the camera that's yeah. recording us right now. Yeah, that's really cool. So yeah, uh, this, is, this is pretty modern too. Yeah, you can see yeah. our current mixer in there and uh, it's the lighting setup that we have. Um, this is a nice thing about our green screen technologies. We don't have to have a lot of crazy lights to our green screens. So we actually get right. away with a pretty minimal light setup. Yeah. So yeah, the green screen is actually gray behind us. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have a clip about that. Do you want me to play right. this? I can play this part. I'm um, sure. Yeah. Okay. So here's a, we actually covered this in an in-depth look, but it kind of gives you an idea. You get to see it. Green screen in real time. And I'll give you more information about our green screen green screen here in just a second, but watch what happens when we turn it off. 
There, I just kind of blew away some of the magic. Huh? You can see I actually live within this box right here, this virtual box that we've placed in the Wirecast shot. And then when the green screen turns back on, Wirecast starts interpreting green in real time and making it transparent. So in real time, Wirecast is cutting out green and replacing it with transparency. And it's actually really good at that. I don't have a perfect green screen. Um, in fact, if you look at uh, this shot here, you can see it's, it's a bit... It's a bit uneven. The green screen should try to be as even as possible. You see I have wrinkles in the, in the uh, curtain. That normally would cause issues. But uh, thanks to Wirecast's, Wirecast's rather robust uh, green screen tool, um, it actually works pretty good. I, that's pretty neat. So that's kind of how we do the green screen, which is nice because it lets us have uh, a lot of flexibility in a small space. Mm -hmm. uh and then... Uh, oh, I know what that is. This is... Uh, I tried to grab a behind-the-scenes clip from each show. This is... Lotso. Lotso. Now, the gray screen looks white because... It has little glass reflective beads in it. Right. And there was enough light to reflect something, but there was no light on the guy's faces. Right. And it this... Was, did you have a flash? I don't... I can't remember. If, it was, if there was flash, you'd be able to see your faces. Yeah. So I don't think so. Yeah. But anyway, so that's Alan on the left, um, and that's Alan with one L, the one that uh, goes on the fisher fishing boats. Yeah. And then in the middle is Justin, and on the right is Chris. And uh, yeah, the Lasso is done um, in silhouettes. It's the only show that we've ever done in silhouettes. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's just, it's just kind of a fun shot. All right, the next one is a uh, behind the scenes stoked. Oh yeah. And <laughs> actually I'm trying to think, yeah. I th well, so this is so this is just a little bit off in front of us. This is mm -hmm. kind of the our angle and you can see uh this is the, this is the machine that uh we uh Jupiter Broadcasting eventually gave it to the J-Man. In fact, he still has it. Um, and it was he's, my laptop, yeah. Yeah, he's got an uh, external hard drive there. He did some editing. And so you see there's this blue wire that's running down from the machine. That's an Ethernet wire that runs back, and he's probably transferring stoked from the recording machine onto that laptop so he can start editing. Yep. So <clears throat> Towards the end, his last few, he would, like, he, would, he would kind of prefer to edit on the live stream. Yeah. Now, back in October, um, Jeremy got a job at, um, at Star Trek Online. So he moved down to Cryptic, California. Yeah. I'm sorry, yes, at Cryptic yeah. is the company name, yeah. uh, working on the Star Trek Online game. So he moved to California. Yep, yep, and, and we let him take the and, laptop with him. And and because the person that asked that didn't know about that, he used to be the co-host for the faux show. It's true, yeah, we yeah. should mention that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> wow. Um, which uh, which is, I, was, I do have a point where I was going to mention that. Okay, all right. Um, okay. All right, so now we're into like, how our family integrates into Jupiter Broadcasting. And this, this will be really fun. So this is a picture of Chris and Dylan, just so that you can compare how ridiculously identical they are. <laughs> I ran across this when I was looking for pictures of the studio. It's just insane to me. There so, you go. You see it, right? Uh, a little bit. Yeah, mini Chris. I don't quite see it, but I do see it a little bit. Oh, I totally see it. He has your eyebrows and your eyes. It's oh my funny. I see it in, when I look at me, but I don't see the similarities in those two pictures. But like, oh I, really? I can see me and I see Dylan, but mm -hmm. I, yeah, it's weird. I don't see it there. Yeah, Tyler. If if and when Jeremy visits again, we will do a special edition faux show. He's gonna be up in the area for Pax. You might be able to twist his arm. I don't know. When is Pax? Uh. I don't know. I forget. Hmm. Chat room probably tells soon. Hmm. I have but. PAX pictures too. Okay. Um, well, here's the next one. One of my favorite pictures of Dylan. Plug in a PS2 port into a USB. <laughs> that too. Uh, so that, see what's, what's scary about that is he's near the power button there. And that is a little Optron box that uh, runs, uh, I think Ubuntu studio, something old, old. <laughs> and it, it just does like some audio stuff for the studio. Um, and I was like, don't turn it off, Dylan. Don't turn it off. Yep. Yeah. And he's just adorable there. Yeah. Um, all right. And here is Chris and Dylan playing, uh, I think, Star Trek Online. Yep, playing Star Trek Online. Yeah. Yeah, where I also... In his office. ...might record, uh, but yeah. in this case, I was There's a Star couple like that. Oh, I don't know what was going on here, but... <laughs> uh, uh, no? You don't know either? It's a production it's still, system. It's still another way that we keep the family involved in I can't remember. Well, it, the, the, honestly, what it is, is this work just... I'm always working. So eventually, I mean, sometimes they just have to be around when I'm doing that. <laughs> That's yeah. how it is. All right. And then this this lovely is picture is Chris holding Abby. She was born... What day was she born? January 5th. Who? January 5th, 2011. I don't know who you're talking about. During Northwest Goofballs. 
And that is why this is part of the of the faux show about the behind the scenes of Jupiter Broadcasting because... Is Bronwyn in the chat room? I think Bronwyn is. Okay. She already mentioned it, I think, actually. I I had Abby here at home in our bed. And, and it's rumored that I was heard... On the live stream. On the live stream. Now, I'm skeptical. Because after Northwest Goofballs, they didn't know how to turn anything off. And Chris was upstairs with me. So, <laughs> yeah. So, anyway. So awkward. You're the one that listened, Bill Bob. Now, You're the one that yeah, listened. Yeah, yeah. Now, here's the thing, too, um, that uh, Chris was recording Jupiter at Night. Uh, for, was, the, for Dylan? Yeah. An in-depth look. Oh, in-depth look. Yeah. At, like, yeah. my water broke at 10 o'clock at night, and yeah. I had to page him and be like, hey, my water just broke. <laughs> what, what I think is funny, and I don't even know if you know this, but in both oh, cases, in both cases, while you were in labor... Because you had midwives, and yes. there was just periods of time where I wasn't needed. Right, yeah. Well, and, and I didn't just have midwives. I had a doula as well, which is, is somebody which hired the, to be my the, support. The second time around, she had an entire crew. It was ridiculous. But it was a very cool experience. Uh, <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I edited episodes both times while you were in <laughs> Yeah, I well, that's okay. Did, I did video editing. I was like, well... Yeah. I was like... There's nothing I can really do. I've done everything I need oh, to do for the moment. Oh, it's not like I just did it just for hours you. at a time. Let me just tell you, he has no idea where my birth video is. Oh, really? You're bringing that out? You're, pull, you're pulling that I'm out? I'm just going to, yeah. He came up for the, just, three, for the three minutes you know. that I pushed no. and videotaped it no, that and sounds bad. lost the video. No, 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 no. <laughs> I was there you for more You came up to that. visit. You know, you came up to visit. I'm not saying you... But, I had shows to edit. <laughs> but, you know, I'm just bad at managing video and release... Well, no, no, I didn't need you. I didn't need you seeing my, my oh shit face, you know? I didn't need you seeing that. You know, that's fine that you came for the last three... For the I came up more than that. You were just a little busy to notice well, I was that, there. That's probably... That's true. one of the reasons I kept leaving, but... Uh, I'm not ragging him. No, the husbands in the, in the, in the, in the room know that uh, your wife just kind of goes into a zone when she's... In labor. Was, uh, Abby's birth date, or uh, estimated birth date, was January 10th, so she was five days early. Um, so uh, both times, but the story you started to tell before you got all <laughs> ranty on me, is both times, I uh, either we were recording a show or the mics mm -hmm. were on or something, both times mm -hmm. you went into labor. Now, mm -hmm. of course, mm -hmm. pretty good odds of that happening, all things considered. And both times, uh, an episode was due to be released, and so there was a little period of time that I did step away and edit. Uh, you know, QP... I wanted her to be born before December 31st. We had two insurances that were really awesome, and both of them termed on December 31st. Uh, and right, our deductible right. reset. Let's get back to the show. No. Okay. That's part of the show. Yeah, we don't need to get into all that. <laughs> well, people that are having kids want to know that stuff. I, uh, I don't really want to talk about our insurance. All right. Well, anyway. Um, all right. Here is uh, Dylan using the space bar to Playing play. Sotor. Helping me. Oh, uh, is that what that is? Yep. Helping me sure. uh, dodge asteroids. All right. Uh, okay. Here we go. Now we're getting this into the meat. This is the studio. This is the third bay garage of our house before it became the studio. It, uh, as you can see, there are computer or there are towers there. Mm -hmm. uh, our home media center. Uh, about where that chair is is just a little bit about where we're sitting now. No, that's where the green screen is. Yeah, I know. I'm just. And we're about right. four feet in front of that. Yes. Okay. Uh. And then uh, this is the setup with our old lights before we got these. This is just kind of awesome when I was field lights. testing stuff, trying to even see if it was possible. So uh, what's really interesting here is, can you go back one? Uh, so uh, uh, nope. no. Um, wow. So what's interesting, the difference is, is that you, there's a huge jump from uh, like here's a third bay garage to enclosing it with movers blankets, which was uh, which was kind of an, an interesting way to do a cheap sound. Oh, I have a shot of that though. So now you see here, yeah, okay, there you go. So you see I made a wall of movers blankets. Mm -hmm. um, Sound uh, dampening. Yeah, and then so go up one more, go back to that, yeah. So you kind of see it's kind of empty. There's the camera there. This lights, uh, these are very bad lights, very hot mm -hmm. too. But they were just kind of a proof of concept. We weren't even sure if this is going to be possible. So all of this was just kind of play by ear. Yep. Yeah. Movers blankets, just hanging from the wall, hanging mm -hmm. from a series of ropes and things that we yeah, installed. Yeah, our, uh, our landscaper at the time helped us put them up. Yeah. <laughs> They can do odd jobs. Uh, here it is without flash. Kind of give you an idea of the space there. Of course, now we have tables and equipment. That's all right. before any of that. And you can see there's a little bit of uh, server gear behind it. Yep. Um, and you see uh, the carpet has been taped with, uh, well, tape. And that is the, what, the, be the we need to be at least that far away from the camera. That's the four foot marker. We need to be that far away right. from the green screen. Right. Oh, from the green screen. Yeah. 
Yes, that is true. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This is my view. Or our review, I yeah. guess. Actually, that's my view when I'm doing TechSnap, right? I'm sitting in the middle. Uh, you can kind of see on the Looking edges. Looking at Alan's face. You can see on the edges I have one monitor that has like web pages were showing up. And on the other monitor I have Alan. So Alan's kind of sitting on the mm-hmm. table next to me when I'm doing the show. And there's a pile of hats there on the right. <laughs> yep. Hanging from the garage door. <laughs> Always got to have your hats but ready. The hats are still there. Um, you know, they were used for Lotso mainly. But Chris wears a hat. Every once in a while oh, yeah. on Linux oh, yeah. Action Show. And then we have uh, back there, uh, we have, uh, you might have another picture of it, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Uh, we have, uh, uh, oh, here's another picture of what the screen looks like. Uh, we have a we have a monitor back there that has like all of like the broadcast stuff on it and things like yeah. that. Uh, this next picture you were going to show is is back in my in my home office. This is an angle people don't often get to see. This is the other side of my office. This mm-hmm. is where Chase sits when we're doing Unfilter. Of course, Dylan's occupying the space right now, but that's where Chase runs the visuals for the show and yep. watches the chat room and stuff like that. Is that the wind right there? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so that wind is what's holding up my iPad yep. right now. Because yep. <laughs> my iPad stand broke. I have like, I put tux paint on there and stuff for Dylan. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. All right. So then this, uh, I don't really know what to say about this. Well, these are interesting. This isn't here. Uh, this is at... Oh, uh, it's not? No. Uh, ah. That's at uh, the studio, uh, the okay. DVE studio here in town. Th- ah. Those lights are the LED light panels that uh, my uncle, uh, my uncle's company created that mm-hmm. are now like used all over Hollywood and right. of course I have these huge for cl- news stations I have these huge stuff. clunky fluorescents meanwhile he's selling LED lights but whatever yeah whatever <laughs> yeah so yeah those are really neat because they're they're low energy you can actually battery power them which is really cool for on location shooting mm-hmm. which we don't do much of so not a huge requirement yeah oh there's so here's an angle so like when we're recording Cybite or Unfilter uh, well this is pretty old but yeah it's kind of essentially the same though yeah uh, and this is where we have like equipment to, to record the shows and stuff like that for the audio shows that's where I do those at <laughs> oh I forgot uh, to label this one this is behind the scenes beer is tasty yeah yeah this is uh, this is after we got done eating something awful the hungry R- man meal and then we poured beer into the meal <laughs> and then I ate it because Brian, this was this was after this was after the batch where we got Brian the Mexican series no no oh that was it wasn't the mexican series where brian shaved his uh, oh oh it right. was this one right oh okay this was afterwards so brian was trying to get me back so we poured beer in the meal and uh-huh. made me eat it and then we made jeremy eat it so nice and of course he did because he ate anything really yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah that was a great one that was a good prank all right <laughs> that's my mess of starships in my office <laughs> This is his massive collection of starships. I put this in here for Murphy. <laughs> here, look at this. Here, here's a. We kind of went too far. We went past before we go too far off okay. the studio. Yep. Uh, here's a video of a quick tour. You can, really get to kind of see an idea of the old studio. Mm-hmm. Brief pass by of our new recording spot. That's still very much a work in progress. But I thought we're now going to be producing our shows from the studio. So I'm jump I ahead. give you a tour of. Uh, to maybe here. Oh, wait for it. I don't know. Oh. oh, here we go. Well, <laughs> this is what we do. Yeah, we were listening. Yeah, uh, here, okay, here you go. Here's here. This gives you here, this is an interesting shot. Our cables have the nice benefit of um, here's the camera. The way they're wired, it reduces hum and buzz. Not perfect. If there's buzz in your work, it's not going to take it out. But with a long run with a green screen kit, this is a uh, a row of LED lights. Well, I don't know. I'm not finding a spot I really like. People can we'll, we'll link to it in the show notes. Angela yep. actually has really good show notes this week. Yeah. Woo. That okay. was, but that the, that's the cool thing about that video is it's very early on, so you can kind of watch the genesis of it, which is neat. All right, so here's a here's a view from uh, here. Go there. Here's another shot of our angle. This is what we see right now. This is kind of a neat shot. Kind of give you an idea of what yep. things look like. Now, when I when we're actually doing a show, Alan's full screen on that screen. It's mm-hmm. neat. It's neat to have just there's Alan's head. Yep. Yeah. Almost life size. Yep. So there you go. That's that's what my angle looks like when I'm doing a show, like Tech Snap. Yep. Okay, uh, all right, here's a couple PAX pictures. Too much Alan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dylan on a leash. <laughs> we are in the parking garage. That was fun. That was, yeah, that was a much earlier PAX. There's Dr. Kaz. Dr. Kaz mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. Matt. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, and then me and Abby and Dylan and Chris. Yep. Uh, and then me and him. At PAX. Ye- this is well, last yeah. year's PAX. Yeah. Right? I think so. I guess. It's got Abby in it. It's pretty good yes, chance. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, that is the pictures. Now, um, in the show notes, we have behind the scenes part one, two, three, and four of the in-depth look. Yeah, uh, linked as well as garage podcasting one and two from the in-depth look. And garage so, podcasting is the most current. That's how many we've actually done on the behind the scenes, but 
but now the faux show has kind of brought them all together in one convenient place. So if this is something that you're interested in, you should check out the show notes at jupiterbroadcasting.com. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. And then go to uh, the faux show drop down for shows. I'm, Do you have another clip? No, I was just looking at him. But oh, okay. no, I mean, not really. Not, not unless there's one that jumps out at you. Okay. Well, here's the other thing that I have. Okay. In addition to that, I'm going to go ahead and show my show notes, which is not something <gasps> we do very the often. The secret sauce? So here's the, the, the all those links. But also, um, the faux show oh, yeah, yeah. and Jupiter Broadcasting. Oh, that's very small, huh? Yeah. Can both be found on other places. Like, bef- uh, I would be careful how you state that. Okay. State it differently then really old crap we did that sucks is available in some places uh-huh. yeah all right well anyway i mean no really like justin so what you're gonna talk about is the uh, Jup- justin tv uh faux show videos those are cool right we used the just justin tv to record some of the that. early I mean, faux show stuff and i have a clip i just didn't want to give people the impression they could go there and see current stuff right no no no. yeah you can't yeah all right so uh she has now we did mention earlier in the show that the j man was uh originally part of the faux show team because he would stay on after Jupiter at Night and I would go edit Jupiter at Night. That's actually, that was the genesis of the show right there is uh, Jeremy and Angela w- would hang out and chat while Chris went off and edited mm-hmm. that episode mm-hmm. of Jupiter at Night that we just shot. Mm-hmm. So that's why originally I never did the faux show. Right. But now we don't do Jupiter at Night. Well, and we needed somebody to, to be available for the kids. Yeah, those little jerks. Yeah. But thankfully, now, thankfully yeah. that's... Yeah, really Abby got out of her that. newborn phase pretty fast, yeah. and they both go to bed. Uh, well, she goes to bed by 7 and him by yeah. 8. So, all right. Um, so I have this clip because on Justin TV, we're allowed to do like little highlights I of funny that. moments. Yeah, I know. Mm-hmm. I did too. Yeah. All right. So here's a funny moment that I like. Have you ever thought about next time? Okay, next time. <laughs> Jeremy! <laughs> next time you go to bread your chicken, right? Right, because I talked about breading chicken. Mm-hmm. You get your you you have your chicken breast and it's all um you know dethawed. You get your little bowl of egg flour and breadcrumbs, right? Mm-hmm. So you take the chicken breast, which is a a mommy chicken. Mm-hmm. Then you dip it in her baby. <laughs> <laughs> and then you are dipping the mom in her baby. And then you cover it with wood. And then yeah, <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> So keep you that in mind. Now, because I have probably ruined that for life, just know that you can use butter instead of egg. <laughs> okay? Which is another anim- from another animal. Right. And might be a little more um, they sensible. Been, they might have been friends on the farm. Maybe. They might be yeah, dipping the right? chicken in the squirtins of their buddy. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um, there you go. That's, all right. There that's, you go. That's an interesting way to think about that. <laughs> and you know what? Use butter. Yeah. Why not? Why yeah. not use butter? All right. Now, do you want to make your announcement? Are you ready? Um, Are you prepared to make your announcement? Okay. Um, I guess so. So, yeah. Yes. Yes. Well, uh, every, All right. everybody knows that Angela's a Minecraft fan. I am. In fact, I was wearing a Minecraft shirt today, but then I changed uh, into, you know, this super, super, super woman. Super Batgirl. Or Super, super Batgirl. Super Batgirl man. Yeah. Woman. Anyway. Yeah. That Who is failed. it? What happened? I don't know. <laughs> She ra. <laughs> Zena. <laughs> All right. Um, here it goes. Everybody ready? You're making it sound like it's like a really big deal. It's not that big of a deal. No. <laughs> All right. The faux show will be having a segment, a new segment, not a news segment, a new segment, and it will be Minecraft related. Hmm. So, I don't even know. I th- you know, I never thought about how I was going <laughs> to deliver this. And I'm failing, so that's cool. All right, so Jupiter Colony is going to have a new uh, Minecraft server. W- and it's going to be a modded server. Yep. So, it's, it's probably going to be, be a pain in the butt to, to join because it's going to have a lot of different mods that you have to get. But we'll have uh, people standing by to help you if, uh, if you get kicked. <laughs> but um, anyway... Every faux show, I will play a six-minute to ten-minute clip. Every faux show that highlights that highlights somebody's project or part of a mod or something that I'm working on or whatever. That's cool. So yeah. people can get on our Minecraft server and then they can mm-hmm. get their creations featured on the show. Yep, that's a neat way to do that. Yep, I like that. Uh, now the mod thing, we're going to probably have to cover 
Maybe you could do a yeah, segment on that. Yeah, it's so far the server has not been quite created yet, but so you don't you won't you don't know when it's starting officially. But nope, the pro- I don't have the, a start date, but we're working on it. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So and I don't know if you you really think you're gonna do it every episode. I'm gonna try. Wow. I'm limiting it to six to ten minutes. You know, the yeah. episodes that I was trying to do were like over an hour. Yeah. And that that's hard for a new person in editing. <laughs> Uh, you may find it's even harder to do to shorten stuff down, but we'll see. We'll see. Mm. I'll I'll help you work. Okay. 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 Well, um, anyway, so stay tuned for more information on that. Um, yeah. Just some of the mods that we'll be doing um, include backpacks, um, code chicken, industrial craft, iron chest, rail craft, red power, wireless redstone, um, advanced machines, compact solars, um, all subject to change. Depending on availability for the new... Uh, that sounds like a lot of fancy stuff. A wireless it is, redstone? It is. It is fancy. But, you know, there's a new update um, come August 1st. That could break a couple of these. Who knows? You know, we're going to... We'll see. Jeez. Yeah. So, uh, if people are already on the Minecraft server, where should they go? Maybe just uh, oh, keep that, tuning into the faux show for actually, more information? Actually, I meant to talk to you about that before this. Before now. <laughs> oh. Because, yeah, I'll have to get back to you on that. Why? Well, because there's no jupitercolony.com. It's a forum, and it's not a good place to have, like... Yeah, well, we're talking about redoing that anyways. Oh, okay. So maybe we could just redo it to something. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So stay tuned for that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we should mention the Faux Show is live. If you'd like to join us and star in our lower third hey. on Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Pacific over at jblive.tv. Cat in the Engine is in the chat room. Hey, Cat in the Engine. All right. Also, um, on jupiterbroadcasting.com, under the show Faux Show, um, you can click on any episode and see the show notes. Uh, only the most recent ones are better because I've actually been doing them. And uh, starting last week, I did, like, you can find Faux Show here, 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 yeah. here, here, here. Places here, to follow here, it online. Here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, all right. Absolutely. Well, um, that is it for this episode of The Faux Show. We'll see you next week. Now. (laughs) Oh. The final announcement. What? Really? You're doing it like that? I thought so. Okay. All right. I thought maybe we just weren't going to tell anybody. No, no, no. We're telling everybody. I'm ready. All right? Okay. We're not wearing pants. We and decided fact, to do episode 100 without pants. I am wearing um, green underwear that yeah. will key out. Yeah, yeah. When she stands up, her butt's invisible. So there you go. All right. So there you go. Good night, everybody. That was a no pants party, and you were not invited. <laughs> Don't forget, you can catch recent episodes of The Faux Show on jupiterbarcasting.com slash faux show. Also, get them on demand in the iTunes store. Search for Faux Show.